So today we're going to do a problem solving investigation, we're going to do a magic trick. For this magic trick I'm going to need a volunteer that thinks they've got a psychic connection with me. Why do we go with Charlotte? Give Charlotte a round of applause. Thank you Charlotte. In fact let's switch places, if you go on this side that would be good. Can you pick any card and just put it on the desk in front of you? That's fine, pick any other card and put it on the desk in front of you. I'm going to take these cards and I think I can make Charlotte say, I think I can make her say, don't look Charlotte, I think I can make her say this. Just take your time, Charlotte, and think what the uh, what that card might be. And if you get it right, you're going to give her a big round of applause. Tennis. Yes, give her a round of applause. Well done. That is genius. So as you may have guessed, we did actually meet beforehand. So I have talked to Charlotte. There is something, of course, in the way that we are laying the cards down. How were we able to communicate any card we wanted? Because Finbar chose the cards. Like it wasn't. I said to Charlotte, it's always going to be a three of clubs because he might not have chosen three of clubs, and. We've got to be able to deal with whatever five cards he gives us. Where you normally sit, you're going to go in your pairs and go to any desk you want. You're going to take out the cards and you're going to talk together and try and devise a plan to be able to communicate any card, no matter which five cards are given to you. Does that make sense? Okay, so... It's 13, so is it a king of... Uh, is it an eight? Well done. We need to add nine, which isn't an option. So move it down five. So if we do and put eight hiding. Yeah, then we can add one to get three. So that's high, middle, low, which would be the six of diamonds. Yeah, you got it. Right, can you stop what you're doing and gather back around the front nice and calmly, please? I mean, they both give the answer five, but they're a different sum. So it depends on the number of hours in your clock. Some unlucky 13 hour clocks also exist. You can buy these. And that's going to be useful for cards. Let's see. So we start there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good. So in this calculation, 11 plus 8 equals 6, which is weird. So we don't think of the cards on a line. In Charlotte's mind, she was thinking of them in a circle, in a loop, with the king looping around to the ace. So if I hid the 2, lay down the jack, and added 4, Charlotte would be able to do that loop in her head and be able to say what the card was. And between you, you've all solved the challenge which is excellent. If you were able to work that out, you're already on track to be a professional magician. There you go.